Long ago, pirates ruled the seas, but the kingdom of Varuna enjoyed peace and prosperity under a wise king and the watch. Hold on one moment, folks. Do 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 apply. The eyes of his two. There we go. <laughs> Welcome to Let's Play Alundra 2. With me as always is my cohort in crime, Thud, and I am Raziel. Let's start this. And anyone who wanted to see him do the first game first, well, you're fucked. Well, here's the thing. The first and second game don't have a story between them. Also, a thing about the difficulty, the first game had only a normal difficulty. Because it was so hard and so many people yelled about it, they made an easy difficulty for this game. Screw that, we're playing normal. I should probably Raziel must Raziel must defend his internet penis from the people who would accuse him of playing easy mode. Yes. There we go. His, his next project will be Beautiful Joe 2. He will be playing it on adult and he will be getting his ass kicked all the time. So let's say this again, welcome to Let's Play Alundra 2. We are playing on normal mode. I know we are not playing the first one because there's no continuity between them anyway that I know of. Look at that airship. Look at it. It is truly majestic. Look at him, he's walking up a rope that goes straight up. Yep. Metal Sword Solid, I'd play it. No, huh. wait, that game already exists. Uh. So, finally getting the gameplay. There's a lot of cutscenes, a lot of story in the beginning. There'll always be a lot of story in cutscenes, so. X jump, swing sword with square, put it away with circle. R2 to run. If you press circle well R2, you get to slide. Camera controls. That reminds me. One moment. Options. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Settings. Vibrate messages. Sound. That's that's good. I'm sad. There is no there is no options for uh subtitles. So this is just like a basic tutorial. Here, this, do this to jump. Don't fall on spikes. The only place in the game where spikes don't hurt you. Do a running jump to avoid these spikes from hurting your feet. Hey look, a chest. Herbs. So you actually have to go and equip items. You have three slots, just throw them in your pocket. You can switch between pocket slots by holding down the L button. And I think it's L1 to use it. I suppose we'll see in time. Another herb. You can hold nine of any item. Let's get that off so I don't accidentally use it. Flint, the pirate hunter, is wanted, dead or alive. 
Got me all wrong, guys. Hey, basic attack tutorial. And ladders. And cutscene time. That is the most majestic airplane ever. I can't stand it anymore! I gotta get off this flying hunk of tin! All this noise! This aeroplane is giving me a headache! Chill out, Pop! It's not so bad. I kinda like it. Besides, it's the Baron's orders. I don't even know what the fuck. Ah! And you two call yourselves pirates? Well, a real pirate wouldn't be caught dead! Did he just sniff like them? This. I tell no. you, it just ain't right! Well, uh, actually, Potter, a vehicle like this is probably a safer form of transportation. PS1 era cutscenes, baby. And my hair always yep. gets so frizzy from the salt in the air. Your of course, they got nothing on Metal Gear Solid's head bobbin. Huh. A pirate doesn't care about what he looks like. A pirate only cares about two things. One of them is hunting for gold. Do you know what the other one is? Um, the hydrodynamic nature of the ocean's current? <laughs> oh, that always gets me. Anyways, I think we should just make the best of the situation. At least, that's what Mom always used to say. Aye, she's a smart woman, that mother of yours. That's why she dumped you. <coughs> why, you little... Those robot dudes are the best. So that was Zeppo and his two kids. I can't remember their names offhand right now. Those are Scott. Those are pirates, and he was throwing a bitch fit because, well, he's in the air instead of on water. Where, where? I have a bitch ass pirate airplane, but I want a boat like a fucking navy. Where, where? Accurate. God. So Never there's heard of one thing I don't like about this game. Come on, check it. The fact that one of the characters is a bitchy pirate? No, he's actually the second funniest of the group. No, the item I just picked up, the strange key. There is a fetch, there's a fetch quest that starts at the very beginning of the game and ends pretty much at the second to last dungeon for the best sword in the game. Awesome. It is the worst. Melina better appreciate the troubles I go through for her, I tell ya. You know what, I prefer their other voices, so I'll just leave this for people to read. I do love the music they have for these three, though. Key! Key! The best way of communication. You smack that periscope. What's that? Did I hear something?
And it's time to explore the ship. Bathroom! Ow. These guys hit pretty hard. I only have a single hit strike right now. But they can drop stuff and those suns as it shows heals you. Well, I actually blinded me for a moment. We do shit for damage. Ah, lightning, stop it. And now it's a gr group fight between three of them. Yep. Of course, these ones are really stupid. Ooh, that's a 20 gold. And door opens and a chest drops. What's my prize for today? Another herb. Okay. Whee! Captain's quarters. So these blue circles are when you step on them it fully uh, heals you. And these are your save. It's been a long time since I played this actually, so. Alright, let's head through the door. Head the other way, because now we have to go the other to the, to the other half of the outer walkway. Turn the camera. Another blue guy. Get out of my way. Lightning won't save you now. God, that's blinding. I do not remember it being so bright. That gamma setting, man. <laughs> and another cutscene. I think that's the only place I have to worry about that. Japan had a massive cutscene boner after the PS1 came out, huh? That puzzles me as well. It's supposed to be some type of technology that only Mephisto really understands. That's why the Baron wants us to keep our eye on things. Is Tecmo an American company or a Japanese company? You know, I don't know. I'm gonna Google that shit because they did the first cutscene that I can, the earliest cutscene that I can think of. And this is where it gets awkward. Nope, it's Japanese. Never mind. The Japanese have had a cutscene boner since uh, since the days of the uh, of the NES. Yep. So, fighting off the robot alerted Flint, the pirates. Oh, Flint, what do you think you're doing here? Not you again. Why don't you leave us alone? Uh, I read that he's now a wanted criminal. <laughs> I know. We got him now. All right, you two, just leave him with <coughs> me. Doors lock, and it's time for our first boss fight. It's not that difficult, just long because we can't do anything worth of damage right now. Can't wait to buy the next sword. It's all mine. <laughs> ah, Albert. So every time that you hit him and he gets up, he shoots those fire trail things. So just make sure that you're far enough back or you dodge it. And he just tries to jump on you every so often. Otherwise he just sends a whole bunch of the fire trails. Ow, that hit? That sucks. 
Oh. Ow. Ow. He has an aerial overhand for when he's sending the fireballs too, which can get you pretty good. Bosses don't have life bars in this either, which... Ow! Okay, it's triangle to use an item. And, and his kids react a little bit too. Ow. I am doing so bad. Oh, come on, I jump struck and struck him. Get away from me, Zeppo. There we go. Meh. <laughs> Yeah, I can take you on with my bare hands. Skull Buster! Arr, ow! This goes about as well as you think it will. Cutscenes look like the look like the opening line to a really bad joke. A pirate, a hooker, and an engineering student walk into a bar. Ha. <laughs> More or less, really. We're going down. Let's get out of here. And you, Flint. I don't even know how that joke would go, but that's how it starts. Oh, that's weird. The sound just messed up. Yeah, the sound's bugged out. Flint! You know, I almost forgot to tell you. Huh. We've only got three parachutes, so it looks like you'll just have to find some oh. other way down. I don't know why the sun, sound decided it's going to start messing up on that cut scene. Maybe it'll re reset itself after that. Yep. That was weird. Anyway, to the boss fight, it's just like the things we've been fighting before, except now it has a hammer. Yes! And I'm still at 92 health. And it summons other ones of its type. Or uh, uh, weaker versions of it out. Of course you can get a lot of free uh, healing stuff from the other guys that pop out. But that also means that they can do da uh, bonus damage to you. Really, since you have such a weak normal attack, it's better to just do dash attacks back and forth between whatever. Hey, 23 gold. And it's down. 
Once we unlock some combos, though, combat will go a lot swifter. Mini boss squad. Props. You know what the funniest thing is, though? Funniest thing is that that's the only time you fight them. Well, then it's not really a quirky mini boss squad. Exactly. Quirky mini boss spot. <laughs> <laughs> Quirky <laughs> mini boss squads always show up for a rematch. Always. Nope. You only fight one of them the one time, technically. Lame. Oh, well, they're always around for a joke or two at their expense. Hmm. <laughs> And down goes the key. Look at that ocean. Look at that perfectly rendered ocean. <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. Well, <laughs> at least it's, you know, a halfway decent attempt. Yeah. They didn't, they didn't do anything, you know, pants on head retarded with it. Hey look, a whale. I wonder why they're showing us this whale. I wonder if it eat I wonder if it's gonna eat someone. Come on, eat that guy! Boing. Aw. Uh, did he seriously land face first onto a whale? Yes. But even worse, you remember that key? Spike bit right into the ba whale's backside. And then suddenly the water stops existing for the whale and he falls. Worse. Oh god, the whale turns into one of those douchebags with tribal tattoos. Yes. And it is the most annoying thing ever. Don't have to tell me twice. Every time I see one of those fuckers with the tattoos, I just want to kick him in the dick. So, to note, the airship was carrying a giant key. Giant key fell into a whale and turned it into a mechanized bastard. Is he a mecha oh it's my a mecha whale it's a mecha now. Narwhal. Yes, it is a mecha narwhal now. Also of note, all the things that we're fighting so far have been mechanized humans with humanoids with keys in their back. Make of what you will of that. Well, it's official. Now we need to do a Weeple's Narwhal Techno remix. The narwhal breaches at midnight. Narwhal, narwhal, swimming in the ocean, causing a commotion, cause they are so awesome. So maybe you should go take some uh, little key stuff and start stabbing whales. Yes! Go get mecha narwhals out of it. Mecha narwhal! Band name. <laughs> that would be the best band name. Mecha narwhal. Oh yeah. Uh, if anything good came out of that stupid thing, it was that. So, after who knows how long, because there was no timer, it's, we wash up on the beach. We're alive, at least. For now. 
birds are trying to eat us. Mm, what is this? That. Those. It's Master, a bird! Master Roshi has found us! <sighs> Date rape in five, four. Are you, are you alright? Two, one. Yeah, I called it! <laughs> He, he's totally <laughs> rubbing his stick on you. <laughs> he's still he's alive. He's lucky the world of Alundra doesn't doesn't have a registry for people like that. <laughs> yes, yes. So he's taking us over to wherever he lives right now. He totally frauded your knee. Yeah. Yes, he did. Speaking of, there's something I need to show you later that's funny as hell. But, that's for another time. Maybe you could post a link to the thing that I will share in the video description. Maybe. We will see. So, we've been unconscious for quite a while, but I think we're about to wake up. Wow, we're worth 100,000. This is the criminal that everyone is looking for. So, should we turn him in? Um, I don't know. With all the world after him like this, he could be dangerous. Yeah, but he's just a kid. But we don't know yet whether this boy is a friend or a foe. We must wait until he wakes up to hear his story. When he wakes, get word to me and I'll return. In the meantime, this should cover your expenses. Oh, my lord! How generous of you! I promise I'll keep an eye on him just as you say. Oh, you're too kind. I'll be back to check on things. I love how it does the money gaining noise for passing along coins to other people. It makes me think that the chime is inherent in the money itself. Oh, totally. I wonder if in Legend of Zelda, when you hand someone rupees, it makes that jingle for them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to buy this bow. Da -na -na -na. <sighs> this is part of the game where there's story all the time. At least it's not like in a. Uh, Final Fantasy X, where literally the first ha hour and a half is just cutscenes. With a little bit of gameplay to show off in between. Oh no, you don't. Alright, I'll be nice and go. Let's talk to this guy. Lord Prunewell. That is the best character name ever. Ah, good. He's awake. And... He doesn't look all that wrinkled. <laughs> he looks like a Buddhist monk in a tabard. And a new character approaches. It's a man. So you're Flint? No. <sighs> yes, we have a traveling knight. Nope, it's the princess. No. <laughs> <laughs> that always cracks me up. The moment the, the mother finds out that that's the princess. Oh, got a hail. 
I can't believe a small kid like you can be a pirate hunter. Maybe. <laughs> you can't do shits to help me! You can't lift a bounty, the Baron has control. But, gotta do it. The king is missing. And Baron Diaz put a wooden puppet in his place on the throne. I can't wait for that cutscene now. <laughs> so I'm about to be a dick to this kid. Isn't that like the whole point of video games where being a dick to someone is possible? <laughs> I just took his bank money. So now we get to explore this village. And we can't use our sword, so if we want to cut bushes for money Zelda style, we can't use the sword, we have to slide into them. So you're mowing the lawn by drop kicking it? Yes. Awesome. Mowing the lawn and getting paid directly. Uh, Swordmaster Jihan. You're the son of Ratcliffe the Great. He's him and Jihan went missing a time ago. Uh, what was the button? Yes. This is best for this town. I believe this is the shop. But I'm going to go in here because there's a chest. Yep, I just stole a hundred gold from the hundred uh gal from the item shop. What's it to ya? After I do a pur some purchases, I'm going to show you something I'm using. Yes, I want to buy something. two things in the shop. There's the sword that goes 500 and the life crest that goes 300. We're getting the sword now. We're not bothering with the life crest right now. Tonics aren't going to be useful for us to us for a while except yeah we could use them as a full heal but it'd be a waste since we don't even have 300 HP. Nevertheless being able to survive and get full use out of it. Soon enough though. So, one, so, we're going to go in here. That noise is a sound that plays whenever you uh, solve a puzzle. We solved a puzzle by walking into a bathroom. Well, I'll explain what, how, or why that matters later. Part of the mountain fell down and something came out. Let me show you. I'll be right back. Plot important for later. I bet it's super old. So, gotta do some money farming. So I'm not leaving without that sword.
I can't leave right now anyway because the way is blocked off. So up here is a safe point. Some bushes to cut. It can be a little difficult to cut these bushes without falling off though. No, 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 no. Stuff doesn't disappear over time, so if you don't get so if you fall off and the item doesn't, well, you miss out on the item. Alright, 505, let's pick up a few drugs. Yay, healing when I'm at full health. One moment. So now, after we go back to the house. Oh, the princess left without us. Go figure. So now we gotta go. The way is no longer blocked, we can leave, but first, let's pick up that sword. And... Through right here. Yes, yes, yes. Bronze sword. And let's get an herb. That noise also pops up in puzzles as the incorrect noise. Usually a either the puzzle will reset or, or has to be reset or a trap will sprung. Alright, let's get moving. Hey, you're no longer blocking the way. Yep, time to head off. This is the map screen. Can't show it all off yet, because you got walking lines, but... And I'm back. Off to the first actual dungeon, Kindra Forest. Mm, let's do a quick save. Can use my sword now to cut grass. Now, whenever you slide, it'll automatically put your sword away. Monkeys with clubs. Hey, look, a dart. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Yay. Darts will be important, just not this moment. Killing those both dropped a chest. Let's check with what's inside. Herbs. I don't mind herbs until about mid-game when you have 500 health. Even then they're still useful, but... At that point I prefer tonics. This place has beautiful music for a first dungeon. Ow. Stop clapping. Another dart. Really, dash... Dash strikes are the... Most effective way to take care of enemies right at this moment. Another herb in the chest. Let's just take a look over here. Yeah, nothing we could do yet. We gotta come back much later time once we get a couple other stuff. Let's 
hope for some healing stuff. Nope, just money. Oh, yay! Spoke too soon. And... Hey, look, it's Prunewell. <laughs> she ran ahead trying to catch up with me, thinking that I ran ahead. And now I have to run faster than she's running. Yeah, I can't climb, apparently. So, really simple block puzzle. Pick it up. Throw it forward. There's something over here, though. Uh, give you an herb. Yay, a compass. It's a completely useless item, but whatever. Fills up inventory. That's fine. So these blocks can be pushed one step at a time. I don't know if these are dwarfs or gnomes or what. Damn it. Oh, come on. It's one down. Be right back. Yep. Ugh. Apparently I can't slash through the tree, but he can. Thanks, game balance. No, I'm gonna lose my healing item. Go, go. Nope, got it. Oh, it's this way. Ah, uh, something that blocked in the way. Uh, an interesting thing about this level is that it actually holds a whole bunch of stuff that you can't do until later. So. I suppose eventually we'll come back. I cannot wait to get my two-hit combo. Just ends combat so much faster. So these black checks are usually have special items, and in this we get nothing because it's empty. Oh, let's get a consolation prize of all this money. Uh, and next zone. I think it's showing off more puzzles in this part. Yep, I'm right. Magnificent. If you mess up, you have to restart. But I'll take 100 gold.
then, hey look, there's a passage over here. Ooh, a treasure chest. It's a puzzle piece. I'll explain what those are for later. And a hidden path with nothing. Thanks, game. And with this, we bypassed the block puzzle. <sighs> yes, I noticed. Yay, button puzzle. I wonder if Prunewell has, you know, problems in the bathroom. What? I wonder if Prunewell has problems in the bathroom. Another place we can't go into. Ow. Pick up this for it goes. For health, nice. Still can't get through because there's one guy over here that we need to upset. Yep. Let's go. So the thing that you can use to restore your health. Move on to the next area. Hey, look, a house in the middle of this place. Finrod's house. Whoa! Second visitor. And we impressed him so much he allows us to walk past. More leprechaun woodcutters. That's what these things are, leprechauns. Don't you agree? I don't think he's... I think these are leprechauns. Uh, I don't know. Shake them down for their shamrocks. Huh. I don't even have to fight those two. I'm out. Apparently you don't press up to go there. You have to press left. Weird. Mount Sparrowhawk. Apparently, I left without her, and she got here before me. Hey, she found a treasure chest. The uh, treasure chest that was empty. Oh, we get a puzzle piece! That is very exciting. Something more interesting than a puzzle piece? I doubt it. That looks familiar. Oh, what could it be? Wait. Oh. Well, the tutorial level just became its own dungeon.
I don't think there's anything to do out here just yet. So let's just follow her. Dead gee. So yes, now we have to go through the dungeon. Again. Except it's sideways. Yeah, we've seen these things. They used to be humans, but they're transformed into androids. I'm waiting to see Cell. The children. Who are the children? Baron Diaz and the Pirates. So there's no actual enemies in this part yet. So, yeah, the room where we fought the first boss of the game. Now it's become a vertical level. Head up. No. Let's try again. Jump. No. I hate vertical levels. How do I do that? At least in this one, you can change your views to get the jump you want. Long jumps get over here. Free herbs are always appreciated at this point in the game. <sighs> Left or right? Call. Now we go to the right. There's a hole in the warehouse. Which leads to the captain's quarters. What? Let's save. No, not that one. This one. Be right back. Yep. Get back here, platform. Going up. Engine room. Just the kind of proof she needs? What is it? Oh, that's rather incriminating, actually. And I'm back. New partner. Yes, Melina is the leader of the pirates. Okay, well, nowhere else to go, so let's go out here. And I think cutscene. Yep.
wizard dude. Hurry, fools. My arcanum. If that's not his actual name. Somewhere. No. His actual name is even better. Better than wizard dude. I think so. It's more punny. Mephisto. What are you up to now? Come, my servants. Don't let them leave here alive. Flint, we're outnumbered. If we fight in an open space, we'll be surrounded. Over there. It's a fighting in open space. It's a fight on a tree. And then she falls. So yeah, wizard dude's name is Mephisto. Mephisto. And this just has infinitely spawning G dudes. Fight till you get bored. Color corded in difficulty but for your convenience. And of course, hitting that guy, I fall through. And let's go fight the first real boss. Flint, he's coming this way. Yeah, he's a little creepy. Just a little creepy. Ah, the children of the crowd. And you must be the leader. I thought it was just a child's game. But such an imminent presence calls for an imminent. Oh no, he must be selling these clockwork keys. Time to catch some mice. <laughs> but we don't want any of his wares. Instead, he stabbed his cat. Called Pandora, interestingly. This boss fight sucks. Compared to the last two big guys that we fought, this is actually a fairly difficult fight. I remember kicking my ass the first time I played, and I probably will do it now because it has a. I attacked. Several attacks that are hard to dodge. I didn't know I could do this to it. Ow. It's had enough of my shit. Oh, we could trade. And now things start to get interesting. The cat breathes fire.
And she jumps down and dashes. I think the difference between difficulty modes is that you do more damage. I think the enemies do the same amount of damage, but you do more, so you kill them faster. It's getting a good view to start the fire breathing. Be nice if I stopped running into her. So yeah, pattern bosses. Finally. Finally dead. No looting. And it explodes. Now bosses give you two things. They give you a chest and a piggy bank. A large piggy bank. It drops a whole bunch of coins and immediately explodes on impact. And a chest that you has either a life or an energy thing. Yep, cat into a monster. Let's go. Is there anything you can't turn into a monster with enough time and effort? Well, technically you can't turn a monster into a monster. Well. Did you hear that? I did not hear that. Well, you're about to see that. The old man who lost some weight. Just off my head, I'm afraid. He's a cool old guy. Ah, plot. Finrod was part of the palace guard. Plot that doesn't matter. Boom! My goodness, what was that? I don't know. Huh? Are you resting here the whole time? What was that big boom? Was it an earthquake? I haven't the foggiest notion. Uh, oh no, it came from Paco Village. Something bad is gonna happen. Wait! Trying to leave me behind again? Yes. Yes, we are. Why won't you let us go without her? Oh well, now loading cutscene. 
What is going happen going to happen? Someone really doesn't like the village. Look! To the west! What is it? It is a giant bull tank. Firing cannons. Look at that thing. It's not just a tank, it's a transformer. <laughs> the kid's completely unfazed. Now a sad tune for the village destroyed. What on earth happened here indeed? I'm just gonna save my money. I'm not gonna bother with the health upgrade right now. Oh, what's this? This wasn't here before, but it looks like the ruins that we saw earlier. I really like this music. But we'll hear more of that later. Actually, right now, I've been playing for a while. So, I'm just going to save and we're going to take a break. Yes. Paco 2. Well, next time we figure out what happened. Where well, I know what happened. It's a giant bull tank. Good night.